so uh, for both of you, these are, are characters that are really familiar to you. What is it like to revisit them after all these years? It was a blast. I mean, I think uh, getting to come back into a, a, a cast and crew where you feel like it's, you know, stepping back into a family that you've had for years, that's exactly how it felt for us. It was like picking up the pieces where we left off, honestly, like the minute we got in the same room together, the chemistry started flowing and I immediately felt like I was back in that safe, playful environment. And I knew it was just going to be an awesome ride. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, we, we never really let these characters go. I and mean, we, we didn't know our first go around that we were, that it was going to be over. We, we always thought we had some way we were going to keep going forward. And, you know, Beth and I, more than anyone, kept in touch with Dean. I was, I'd worked for Dean since 2007. I never stopped working for the guy. Uh, and Beth was, is very good friends with and, and came in and did uh, the librarians with us. And, and we, and Dean always had, it never really was gone. You know what I mean? Like it may look like that to other people, but we always had a little glimmer of hope that it was going to come back in some way, shape or form. And Dean would always put little bites out there a little bit, you know, he would get little bites and the fans really never let go either. And so, uh, so I didn't, I didn't let this character go. I still knew him and, he, and kept him pretty close to my heart. Um, and then, uh, you know, the very first day of filming, we were all back in and Dean Devlin did something very brilliant. He put us all a very a big scene. He put us all in this in the first shot up. So we, it was, you know, trial by fire. We all had to go in, be in character and get it done. And it took us what all of a minute and a half and everyone was just comfortable again. And when we knew exactly whose shoes we had on and what hat we were wearing uh, and it just clicked and it just hadn't, it, it never, it, it never stopped after that. Yeah. So uh, what, what uh, you've got Noah Wiley uh, on the series. Uh, talk a little bit about working with him. What's one thing for both of you that you'll remember about working with Noah uh, on the season? Yeah, for me, I can say, you know, Christian has a has a history with Noah. Really, I worked with, on one quick episode of Librarians, but really the thing that impressed me the most was his ability to do comedy and drama and effortlessly click into the improvising and the pacing of our show because it, it catches some, even the most seasoned actors off guard sometimes, the, the pacing and how fast we move on the show. And Noah doesn't skip a beat. And some of my favorite moments are when he, he and uh, Gina Bellman are paired up in a con and the way he plays discomfort and awkward. And it's just, I love it. And I think it's so genius because comedy is, he's like a little Peter Sellers or something to me. It's like, <laughs> Uh, so freaking amazing, but also laser focused and is also a director. So he thinks like a director actor, which is really impressive and exciting to, to work with that energy. And I'll say Elise Shannon as well is like pure magic and we're all blown away by her. Yeah. I, you know, and I, and I worked, I worked with Noah for four years on the librarians. And so uh, we've, we've, we've been in the trenches a lot. And the funny thing about that was, was that, you know, that was Noah's show. He was the librarian. I came on as a, an apprentice to him. He was my boss. He tells me to go kill that monster. I'll go kill the monster. You know, it, it, it was, a, he was the top dude and I was the bottom guy. And then we came to this show and the whole dynamic changed. Now he's, you know, a broken lawyer and I've been doing, you know, I've been on the, on the, on the leverage circuit for a long time. So how is that dynamic going to play where I used to take orders from him and now not necessarily take orders from me, but he looks to me as someone who knows about the con and the job. It was a total, total 100% power exchange. And the other actor besides Noah, I don't know if we could have gotten it done, man, but he did it flawlessly and I have nothing but respect for him. Uh, because, you know, that's uh, that's a tough thing to do, man. And he did it absolutely. So he did it so well that uh, I completely forgot that 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 we had had that power exchange. All of a sudden we were on a new show and there was no like I don't remember what we did on the library. And, you know, as much because because he was just he was so great at playing this other character. And I've learned a lot of com comedic timing from Noah. Uh, Beth said it perfect. I love the Peter Sellers thing, but uh, he's just. He taught me it was okay. I came, I, I came from playing Elliot Spencer, who you don't make fun of. He taught me on the librarians it was okay to make fun of yourself. And I think that my comedy got better uh, once I accepted that. And I, ha I started having a blast with it. And I've carried a little bit of that over to him. So yeah, I love working with him as an actor. But, you know, as someone you can learn some stuff from, it's even, it's even, it's even more important for me. Now, for both of you, did you have uh, a favorite scene uh, working on the season? And if so, why? Mm. there's so many of them well I'll go first I think uh you know anytime I get to do action as Parker I really love it and we got to expand that role for her this season because 
as we know, she's been off running crews with Elliot and Hardison. And so she's gleaned some of that, um, you know, fighting spirit from Elliot. And it's been really fun for me in the hurricane episode. We get to do some physical stuff that I really enjoyed. And, um, you know, technically like the hurricane machine, like the wind machines and all the stuff, like I really geek out over all the effects and all the stuff. So I loved that. And then I would say for directing wise, it's being in both of those episodes as a, as an audience member and watching from afar, all the development that went into the, the train car, um, moments between Sophie and all the intercutting of the comms was a lot of fun for me to, to play with and watch. Yeah. And for me, I mean, I don't know if it's my all time thing. I've I just thought of like six of them, but I'll give you one because it was brilliant. And Beth directed it. Uh, I'm in, the, I'm in a bar and I'm sitting there and I'm, and I'm in a, I'm getting to read across the table from LeVar Burton. I mean, you know, it's a piece of American history for us. And, uh, and, and he became a friend so fast. It was ridiculous to, still to this day. And I'm having this dialogue with him and I'm thinking, this is pretty cool. I'm working with LeVar Burton, best directing. It's amazing. And here comes Noah. He comes in with the cane and an eye patch and it's too much. It's too much. Elliot's already perturbed. And he, him and Beth came up with this thing where he drops the cane and I'm going, you gotta be, this is, I can't, I'm, I'm going to bust out laughing. And I just remember that scene I, like it was yesterday. And it was just so much fun to be with those two guys and her directing. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite comedic timings uh, that he's with that cane. I didn't know it was going to happen. And when he did it, if the look on my face, I, I, I don't know if you caught it, but it's got to be great. It's so good. All of those moments were amazing. It is. It's too hard to pick one. I can't. Yeah.